Well, I think uh, if you open the IPCC report, they say, uh, or you ask, uh, you know, mainstream climatologists whether the sun is taking into account, they'll say, oh, yeah, definitely, uh, we take the sun into account. But what they mean is that they take the changes in the solar irradiance into account, just the changes in the total output, energy output from the sun. And those variations are actually very small. They amount to about a, a 0.1 to 0.2 of a percent a, over the solar cycle or similar long-term variations over the 20th century. Uh, in reality, if you look at the amount of heat that goes into the oceans every solar cycle, you see that it's typically about six or seven times larger than those changes in the irradiance. And that tells us that the sun must have an effect on the climate which is much larger than what the IPCC is considering. Um, so they ignore this evidence, even though it's uh, clear as the light of day. Um, and when they do that, they again, they reach the conclusion that uh, the sun couldn't have been a major climate uh, driver over the 20th century. And from that, they conclude that the climate sensitivity has to be on the high side and therefore that we are all doomed. But again, it's because they neglect to consider the large effect of the sun. Has. <laughs>